Okay, so what I have here today is a 1987 Porsche 944 non-turbo. Uh, it's black on black with the five-speed manual. Um, this car needs some work. So there's a couple issues with it. Looks like the top has been leaking, so there's some mold and mildew inside here. It was taped up by the owner previously to try to remedy this, but might want to look at that a little bit further. Um, so this car has been in a couple of accidents, it looks like, so I don't think there's very many straight panels on here. The uh, the supports for the rear impact are pushed in, so the rear bumper is bowed out right here. So I don't know if that'll go back if you straight, if you pull back to straight, if you pull out the stops, but it's another thing. A couple dents right here in the hatch. Other than that, the hatch seems to be in pretty good condition. Uh, it has some wear on the paint, but for the trim, but that's to be expected. It's a 35 year old car. So, this Porsche isn't starting currently. Um, I need to get the battery charged, that's what I'm working on now. So, hopefully, I'll be able to get it started tonight and moved over into a new spot. Here's another look at the bumpers after the impact bars have been crashed in. Here's the driver's side. Looks like there's some oxidation. Clear coat is gone, probably from the shoddy paint job. There's a couple of paperwork, pieces of paper inside the house that say that this had a makeup paint job before. So, I mean. Uh, tail lights seem, they work fine. There's a crack in this one. And this one seems to be fine. Not seeing issues with that one. So over here on this side, looks like we have a some body damage or we're missing part of the side trim. We need to get that old trim piece in place. This side's not too bad as far as body damage wise. I mean, in, re in regards to the other side, this fender will need to be replaced though. This is dented in pretty good and then he has the side marker light duct tape to the bumper to hold it in probably look at some clips and replacing that light anything front bumper also same issue it's been hit so it's pushed in the it has a clean title though so it's not anything that was too major it's just got into a fender bender and here we are so yeah i mean both front fenders need to be replaced I mean, this one has a pretty good dent in it. I mean, there's no straightening that out. I think the bumper, the lower half of the bumper is salvageable. So that's a good piece. And I believe this nose panel is fine too. There's a little dent right here, actually. So, not perfect. The passenger side mirror also looks like it hit some at some point in time. Big old dent, fender. That fender is going to need to be replaced, so I don't need to go over that. There's a scratch that runs all the way down the side. And I think this door is okay, cosmetically. I don't know. Here's some body work that had been done previously where the Bondo is now cracked from where it had been hit. So, the door might need to be replaced. But, uh, yeah, let's go check out the inside. The inside is by far the worst. Uh, there's mold everywhere. It needs to be cleaned out. So, open the door. And here's the inside. We'll start with this door panel. So the door panel is straight. <laughs> Looks like it might just need to be realigned for that piece right there, but it's all in there. Uh, there's mold all over the door panel on the armrest. It needs to get taken care of. The speakers seem to be working fine. There's an aftermarket radio in here. So here's looking inside of the driver's seat. I've already sat down here and uh, got most of the mold off of it, but the whole seat was moldy. Um, there's also a tear. So they're not perfect, but they are in pretty good shape. They're black. There's some stretch marks area. Uh, here's the steering wheel. He has a steering wheel cover on it. This is what the factory one looks like in there. So this is all removable. Dash looks like it has a couple cracks on it, but overall in good condition. Uh, gauge cluster works fine. This one has 169,883 miles as it sits. Uh, here's the stick shift. You can see it covered in mold. Uh, as well as most of the center console, which will need to be detailed, and uh, the vents, and 
So the dash and the hole looks pretty good, so it's not too bad. Seatbelt will need to be detailed as well. So here's the back seats. Back seats are in good shape, no rips, tears, anything like that. Um, I mean, it's about as good as you're gonna get. They've never been used. I mean, the floor, you use the detail, needs to be cleaned up, but other than that, the carpet's in okay condition. Let's go to the passenger side. Okay, passenger door panel, uh, good shape. No scratches or rips or tears. Just has mold on the door handle or the armrest and around some areas of the trim. Here is the passenger side seat. Also has mold and a pretty big split going right down where the butt goes. Uh, carpet needs to be cleaned, but overall not too bad. So let's get the headliner slash the top. So this is where we're having most of the issues, I believe. So the, the visors are in good shape. Don't see anything wrong with that. But uh, it looks like the seal for where the removable top meets the car, it needs to be replaced is what it looks like. So water's getting in over here, and which is what was causing what was going on with the, with the mold issue. So it might need a gasket or it might need to be completely replaced. Go ahead and pop the hood. Like I said, I can't start it because the battery's being charged at the moment, so. Pretty clean. It looks like there's been recent oil changes been done. So this would be proper level. Yeah, I mean, I don't see any issues. No. Hey, doggy. <laughs> Yeah, fluid seems to be at the proper levels, so I mean, I know it runs. It ran before it came here, and it wants to start as soon as you get the battery back into it, but I mean, overall, it's got a lot of mold and mildew, and a lot of body work needs to get done, but it's a solid car. You don't really find these too often anymore, so I think it would be worth trying to sell for around 5000 once cleaned up. We'll see how it goes.